And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday, the 4th of October, 2019. It's the birthday of the novelist Anne Rice, born New Orleans, 1941, who, after her five-year-old daughter died of leukemia, wrote a novel interview with a vampire about a vampire who's so lonely he turns a five-year-old girl into a vampire to keep him company. And it's the birthday of the humorist Roy Blunt, Jr., born 1941 in Indianapolis, grew up in Decatur, Georgia, whose first book was about three bricks shy of a load, about the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's the birthday of Edward L. Stratemeyer, born in Elizabeth, New Jersey, 1862, the writer who created the Hardy Boys, the Bobsy Twins, the Rover Boys, and Nancy Drew. He wrote about 150 books of his own and then created a fiction factory called the Stratemeyer Syndicate with a team of ghostwriters to write the books based on his outlines. They published about 700 books under more than 65 pseudonyms, and they still sell about 6 million books a year. And it's the birthday of the comedian Buster Keaton, born in Pequa, Kansas, 1895. His parents, vaudevillians, they were on the road. Became a solo act in the 1920s and made three classic silent movies, The Navigator, The General, and The Cameraman. Here's a poem for today by Ellen Bass, Gate C-22. At gate C-22 in the Portland airport, a man in a broad-band leather hat kissed a woman arriving from Orange County. They kissed and kissed and kissed. Long after the other passengers clicked the handles of their carry-ons and wheeled briskly toward short-term parking, the couple stood there arms wrapped around each other, like he'd just staggered off the boat at Ellis Island, like she'd been released at last from ICU, snapped out of a coma, survived bone cancer, made it down from Annapurna in only the clothes she was wearing. Neither of them was young. His beard was gray. She carried a few extra pounds. You could imagine her saying she had to lose. But they kissed, lavish kisses, like the ocean in the early morning, the way it gathers and swells, sucking each rock under, swallowing it again and again. We were all watching, passengers waiting for the delayed flight to San Jose, the stewardesses, the pilots, the aproned woman icing Cinnabons, the man selling sunglasses. We couldn't look away. We could taste the kisses crushed in our mouths. But the best part was his face. When he drew back and looked at her, his smile soft with wonder, almost as though he were a mother, still open from giving birth, as your mother must have looked at you, no matter what happened after, if she beat you or left you or you're lonely now. You once lay there, the vernix not yet wiped off, and someone gazed at you as if you were the first sunrise seen from the earth, the whole wing of the airport hushed, all of us trying to slip into that woman's middle-aged body, her plaid Bermuda shorts, sleeveless blouse, glasses, little gold hoop earrings tilting our heads up. A poem by Alan Bass, Gate C-22, from her collection, The Human Line, published by Copper Canyon Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.